Assalamualaikum and good day. So today we would like to discuss topic 5.3, art length. Okay, let's look at the uh, definition first. We want to determine the length of the continuous function y equal to fx on the interval a, b. We will also need to assume that the derivative is continuous on the interval a, b means that our function is move. So, uh, calculating the art length actually, we estimate the length of the curve. Okay, how we do that? We can approximate the curve by a series of straight lines connecting the point. Okay, so for example, it looks at this uh, figure here, all right, where we have um, this cache of this situation for n equal to 9. Okay, it means that let's say we have a this curve here. Okay, we have this curve here, all right. And then to calculate the length of this curve, so we approximate by um, divide into number of sub interval. Okay, for example, we note as P0, okay, we have the first point here, divide into several sub interval here, all right. So we have several points here, denote by P, PI. Then we connect all these points, which have the same sub-interval here with a straight line. So we connect the point P0 with P1 with a straight line. And then we connect the point P1 with P2 with a straight line. Uh, and also we connect the point P5 with P6 with a straight line. Actually here we have a curve, but we connect with a straight line. And then we connect the point P8 and P9 with a straight line here where every um, line here or every sub-interval here have the length of delta x. Okay, means that the difference between P1 equal to P0 is equal to uh, Px, uh, delta x, sorry, equal to delta x, have the same sub-interval. Or in other words, uh, we have delta x is equal to Pn minus Pn minus i. So it depends how many points you want to divide your curve. Okay, so to find the length of this curve, then we calculate um, the summation of this straight line here from A to B. Okay, represent the length of our curve here. So theoretically, before we can get the uh, formula here, okay, no need to worry because in this course, you only apply this formula. But before um, we apply the formula, so this is the theory, okay. So here is the theory on how we get this formula here, okay. So actually, the line is come from the approximate of all all the summation of your a um, straight line that you connect between two points here, okay? Then, by using the idea from the theorem of uh, Pythagoras, actually, this is the formula for the theorem of Pythagoras, okay? We have this, okay, why we have the theorem of Pythagoras? Because if we uh, if we want to, to find the length of P0 and P1 here, we can have this uh, triangle here to get the uh, straight line here. And then here... Okay, and so on here. And then, um, by simplify, okay, so this is actually the mean value theorem. Okay, this is the mean value theorem from the calculus or theoretical of calculus. We have the mean value theorem. And then if we simplify here, theoretically, actually, finally, uh, the summation here can be represented by the uh, integration. Okay, because we know that integration actually comes from the summation so um, to find the length uh, the art length of this curve we can use this formula where this formula is actually come from this theory here okay no need to worry about this theory i just give you uh, some kind of idea or overview on how we we have uh, on how this formula 
come from. If you're interested to know detail about this, then you can refer to this source, eh? okay, where this note, uh, uh, I, I, I use uh, the uh, sharing from this source, eh? okay, you may refer to this uh, website here. Okay, so in other words, the simple uh, definition of art length, if the function y equal to fx is a smooth curve on the interval a, b, then the art length of this curve over the interval a, b is defined as this formula here. So we will use this formula in order to calculate the art length of our curve, which is Art length represented by the L here equal to integrate from your lower limit to upper limit AB. And then you have the integrand function here, okay, which is square root 1 plus F prime X square respect to DX. Okay, now let's look at this example. Find the art length rounded to four decimal places of the curve y equal to x power 3 over 2 on the interval 1, 3. So first, we must to have our function, okay? Our smooth function. So from the problem we have here, fx equal to x power 3 over 2. Then we get the f prime x. Okay, so recall back your uh, differentiation knowledge. So differentiate this, we have 3 over 2 x power half. Okay, now we calculate the art length by using this formula here. So the art length equal to, we evaluate the integral from a to b, which is 1 to 3. And then our integral is uh, 1 plus f prime x square so we have 3 over 2 square root x here square and then with respect to dx okay so let's simplify first our integral so if i square everything here i should have 1 plus 9 over 4 x dx Okay, now we want to evaluate this. So, uh, it looks like we cannot uh, simply uh, direct evaluate this. Then you must to use technique of integration. Okay, so here we will apply uh, integration by substitution. Okay, so using integration by substitution, then I let my u equal to 1 plus 9 over 4x, alright? And then we get our du dx, so differentiate this u with respect to x, it gives you 9 over 4, alright? And then from here, since I only want my dx here, so I will get my dx equal to 4 over 9 du, okay? So, let's continue. Now, my L is equal to 1, to 3. So, I have square root u. And then dx is actually du time with 4 over 9. Then, I put the constant outside here, all right? So now we can evaluate our integral here. So 4 over 9, so integrate u power half. So you will have u 3 over 2. Okay, dy with 3 over 2. So I should have 2 over 3. And then from 1 to 3 here. So simplify further, I should have 8 over 27. Okay, now I substitute back my u here. Okay, I substitute back my u. So, my u is actually 1 plus 9 over 4 x. Okay. And then power 3 over 2. Then I have the limit 1, 2, 3. So, now you substitute your limit. Okay, start with the upper limit. I have 1 plus 9 over 4 
times with 3 power 3 over 2 and then I minus with 1 plus 9 over 4 times with 1 power with 3 over 2 okay so if you calculate here you should get 8 over 27 please use your calculator set in 4 decimal place so this one you will get 21.5751 minus 5.8 five nine zero and then if i multiply everything here with eight over twenty seven i should get four point six five six six so this is my uh, solution for the outline for this given a uh, problem here now let's look at this example determine the outline of y equal to 2 over 3 x minus 1 power 3 over 2 between uh, x is between 1 and 4 so this is uh, our curve here okay so to calculate the outline we must to uh, find the derivative of our function first so we have fx equal to 2 over 3 x minus 1 power 3 over 2 so differentiate this uh, f it will give you x minus 1 power half here okay or square root x minus 1 so now we calculate the outline by using the formula l equal to integrate from 1 to 4 and then we have square root 1 plus f x square respect to dx simplify further here okay so it looks like very simple function we have here so 1 minus 1 so we left with our integral in square root x here respect to dx. So now we can evaluate our uh, integrand here. So integrate uh, x power half or integrate square root uh, x here you should get x power 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2. So I have 2 over 3 here and then from 1 to 4. Now substitute the limit. I put 2 over 3 outside. Then I have 4 power 3 over 2 minus 1 power 3 over 2. Alright. So I should have 2 over 3. So 4 power 3 over 2 is a square root 4. 2 power 3 is 8. So 1 power anything you should get. 1 so here 8 minus 1 is 7 7 times 2 is 14 so your solution for this problem your outline l equal to 14 over 3 nice okay let's look at the last uh, example here so this is from final exam uh, semester 2 16 17 so given a line segment x plus y equal to 2 Find the arc length of the line segment from the coordinate uh, negative 1, 3, 2, 4, negative 2. So I think this is very straightforward. So the first step you must do have your function of your curve. Okay, so fx equal to y equal to 2 minus x. Okay, so differentiate your fx, you should get negative 1. 1 all right so now substitute into the formula of your art line integrate from so since uh, we focusing on x then from the coordinate so the lower limit should be negative 1 and then the upper limit is 4 okay so this is our integral 1 plus f prime x square 
dx. Alright. So negative 1 to 4. So we have here square root 2 dx. Alright, so you integrate constant here. So you should get a square root 2 of your x. Okay, and then substitute the limit from negative 1 to 4 here. Alright. So square root 2. Then we have 4 minus minus 1. Okay, therefore, your art line is equal to square root 2 times with 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, so we can just write 5 square root 2 here. So this is our solution. It's very uh, straightforward eh, for this problem. Alright. Okay, so I think that that's all for this subtopic. Okay, so thank you. Till we meet again on the second subtopic. Alright, have a nice day.